Point in time, Councillor Gadman. I too will not be able to support it. Um, the reason I can't support it is I happened to work for 19 years for the regional district and was deeply involved in the creation of the plan. And the plan began by saying, protect the green zone. That was the essence of what everyone said to us, protect the green zone. And that will help to concentrate land and will build a compact metropolitan area that will then be serviced by good public transit. Well, we've already heard Mr. Marco tell us that, well, Vancouver did a pretty good job of building within that compact metropolitan. Every other municipal jurisdiction built office parks outside of that concentrated metropolitan area. But the thing that affects, gives me most misgivings about this plan is what this will do to the green zone. We've already seen that the provincial government in awarding the lands to the Tawasin Band awarded them on the basis that they would effectively be removed from agricultural purposes and put into backup lands for the port by the Tawasin Band. Loss of agricultural land. We've seen loss of agricultural land in Maple Ridge. We see now that the 1200 foot mark in, in West Vancouver could go much higher and that we will in all likelihood lose most, most of the many much of the forested lands uh, on, on, the, on the North Shore. And the ability to change the boundary here is going to mean that there's going to be enormous pressure on adjacent lands either for industrial purposes or for sprawl. And we are going to eat away at the agricultural lands that in the future when we heat, hit peak oil and we can't afford to transport a morsel of food 3,000 kilometers to our plate is going to be absolutely essential to feeding this region. And by lowering the threshold for, for some of these lands for modification, my fear is, and I've seen this at the regional board, effectively what we will have is we will have municipalities saying, I'll support your removal, you support my removal, and they will be able to put together uh, the votes to do that. And I think that will really undermine this strategy. The other thing that I have real misgivings about here is the role of TransLink. And when I hear that, well, we're not only talking about you know, rapid transit corridors, but we're talking about major bus lanes as being areas around which TransLink seeks to gain revenues to fund itself. I also happen to be the chair of the finance committee of TransLink for three years, and I saw what we did to maintain a balanced budget. And we're now in a situation where the TransLink board is floating financial issues for billions of dollars. And when asked, well, how would you pay for this? They said, oh, well, we can always cut service. Always good to hear from a tran transportation provider that they'll cut service. Or um, we can raise the fares. Not so smart if you're trying to maintain high ridership. Or we can go to the property tax base to raise the revenues. And I think that's the enormous pressure that's going to come out of this year to say, well, the lift that the city would get for building density along transportation corridors, TransLink is now going to want a large piece of, which means that the cost of servicing that, which we would get from that lift, is, I suspect, now going to be attempted to be captured by TransLink. And the consequence of that is that all of the other costs for that development are going to have to be borne uh, by the city of Vancouver. So I think this, this uh, strategy is, is flawed. I think it's a 30-year strategy, uh, and we'll look back 30 years from now and say, why did we do it? This is the wrong strategy at the wrong time. And we need, we need, we need to really look at this a lot more carefully. I understand from the comments that have made that that's not going to happen, but I think the, the, the special study areas really pose an enormous problem, and the ability to vary the boundaries, uh, the containment boundaries. You know, if you have a green zone, people understand that that's to be preserved. 
if you have a containment boundary, well, you can always vary containment boundaries. And I think that's what's going to happen. We're going to see more and more press. Councillor Cadman, I'm a bit conscious of time. So. Cities to, yeah, to, okay. to uh, vary those boundaries to the detriment of the green zone. And I regret it. So I can't support it.